Welcome back to the John Mandola Show on WILK. We are driven by McCarthy Tire Service. The news just got bigger as the week went on. So we started out, I think, early in the week. A Berwick football coach, Carmen DeFrancesco. Trevor Woodruff goes from the University of Scranton to Bucknell University. Coach Henses retires. And then last night, Connor McGovern becomes a Dallas Cowboy as we welcome in Connor McGovern to the show. Good morning, Connor. How are you? I'm just overly excited. Still, still don't know what to think right now. It's surreal right now. I'm uh, I'm sure there probably couldn't have been much sleep. I mean, the atmosphere last night and the amount of people in northeastern Pennsylvania uh, that packed that place there, the Broadway and, and Mount Talk. Talk about the energy you had last night. And obviously, there's some ups and downs where you're like, okay, I'd like to go. I'd like to go. But uh, the energy you got in support. Oh, it was ridiculous, this support. Uh, I don't even think anybody could move in the bar how packed it was. There was a couple hundred people there. I know, like, sometimes it would be just my agent calling in to see how things go and just update me. And people would just, like, like shushing each other, get quiet. And all of a sudden, like, I'll just talk to my dad and tell, like, what my agent said. Then everyone's thinking, like, I, I didn't inform everyone else behind me. And all, and all of a sudden, they're like, oh, it must be the next thing. Then all of a sudden, it's just, like, the next people will come in and I'll hear just sighs and I'll go on. And they're like, oh, maybe it's the next one. And I'll just... It was just a whole fun process last night. A little stressful at times, but excited to be a cowboy now. That's yeah, awesome to hear. You know, you, you they always say, hey, you can't pick your parents, so to speak. You Surrounding yourself with great people, and right off the bat, your folks are awesome. Talk a little bit about just having them in your life. Oh, it, it's unreal, like the amount of support they've both given me over the years. Uh, just coming all the way through up, my dad coached me since I could walk, basically. So now uh, helped me the whole agent process too and basically being my second agent then my mom just shown unconditional love for me too it's the best friends you can ask for the support there at, uh, at lake lehman coach gilski the coaching staff i mean these guys uh you know jumping on the penn state uh bandwagon going out there to penn state seeing you i mean all the a lot of the assistant coaches uh, uh coach conagus i know was uh, excited for you as well talk about the all those coaches there at lake lehman Oh, it's ridiculous how much they truly care for their kids and all, how much time they actually put into that. I still come back to the weight room now, and I still lift that Lehman when I come in, and all the coaches are still always there and always helping out the kids, and that's their uh, first priority, always worrying about how they're doing and making sure next year's team's better and better. Six foot six and a little bit, 308 pounds, something like that. You still look like a young guy, and you are very young. Uh, but, you know, nobody could tell what you weigh. You're just, you're just put together the right way. Talk about uh, working on that body over the years and, and trying to kind of hone your craft in the weight room. And it's a little bit, you know, talking to your dad over the years, a little bit more to the weight room. You know, there's a lot of stretching or some yoga, different things that, that maybe people wouldn't expect a football player to do. Yeah, it's not all just about bench press and how heavy you could do things. It's all about different movements, flexibility is a huge part of it, uh, ankle support, uh, just overall foot speed to hand speed. Like, there's so many different little factors instead of just being the big, biggest and strongest guy out there. A lot of times that would just get you beat because you're too slow on the field. So, like, uh, so taken from all the way back to high school, just work on all different types of things. And then that's helping. And then, so it's getting to college, learn how to take care of my body more. Uh, Losing body fat and all that just changes it to more muscle, so I can stay looking smaller, but actually being bigger. For you, uh, the the Penn State experience, getting there early, and 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 that tough decision you had in January, but obviously looking now, it's you made the right decision. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I would not change it for the world. Coach Franklin, your experience with him and and the whole coaching staff at Penn State, uh, take us through uh, uh, being a, a Nittany Lion and what that was like. Oh, it was a crazy three years. Uh, came in early, right out of high school. Uh, I always had the dream starting as a freshman. Uh, worked that into reality. Uh, sophomore year, got moved to center. Uh, it's rain with that. Then this year, got moved back to guard. Uh, continued back through that. It was just a crazy world in three years, and all of a sudden just wrapped up uh, last night and became a cowboy. These last several months, talk about what that process is like, because now you go from, you know, being a kid in college and all that into, like, now you're in business mode, and it's adult time. That's not an easy transition, but you've always been uh, m- mature for your age. Uh, what's that experience been like? Oh, it's a crazy different mindset. Uh, so, basically started the night of, like, night after the Citrus Bowl. So, played that day, 
Uh, that night, I was signing a contract with my agent, signing my basically my last year eligibility at the NCAA away. And then the next day, I was in Pensacola, Florida, starting already training for the combine. I was there for about two and a half months. Went to the combine, uh, went back there for a few more weeks, trained for pro day, went to pro day at Penn State, and also all the teams started coming in like every day, sometimes more than one team a day. Meeting with them at Penn State, and then started going on trips to different teams across the country, meeting with new coaches every single day, different teams, and then just since January, I haven't stopped really until basically today is my first free day. And and the free day is probably already you're getting hit. You know, you talk with uh, Jerry Jones last night, Coach Garrett, which was awesome. Uh, and, of course, yeah. that's all over social media right now, the conversation. <laughs> but um, you probably got some Cowboy stuff already, you know, whether it's in the email or the text or whatever. You're probably ready to go, and, and you'll be reporting there pretty soon, right? Yeah, uh, they told me about a week and a half, and I'm so excited. I just can't wait to get down there. I was wishing to get down there earlier. And as far as uh, the workouts, I'm sure you're going to hit it pretty hard between now and when when you get down there. Oh, of course. You know my dad won't let me slap it off at all. <laughs> uh, Connor, uh, this this whole big experience and taking it all in and all, and all these people, you know you have a lot of people rooting for you here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, my mom and brother are Cowboy fans. That's going to help them a little bit. But you're going to get, oh, I think, perfect. you're going to convert a lot of people here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Maybe some of those Eagle or Steeler fans will come over <laughs> and be uh, be Cowboy fans now because you – how about those number 66 jerseys for Penn State? Um, they, they're just everywhere. I mean, the, the, you see people all over social media here in northeastern Pennsylvania. You, you must have had, I don't know, 100 people with those jerseys? Uh, it, it's crazy. Like last uh, couple weeks ago, I went to the blue white game for the first time, like as a fan. And I didn't want to go on the field or anything. I was like, I want to sit in the stands for once. And going through, and all of a sudden, like in the parking lot, I'm like, what, there's a 66 jersey. I'm like, wait, there's another one. I was like, what is going on? I was like, this many people have my jersey and all that. And then the stadium, it was just a surreal feeling. You know, that, that, like, because I know my mom, like, I see everybody. Just see, like, the public and just know people truly support me back home. Well, Connor, uh, we are so thrilled for you. Congratulations on becoming a Dallas Cowboy. We wish you the very best, and thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate you taking some time out and doing that. No problem. Thank you for having me. All right. Connor McGovern here on the John Mandola Show. He is now a Dallas Cowboy. We come back here on the show. We're going to talk with the Riverside baseball team. They are live in studio with us. We hope to get to Carmen D. Francesco from Berwick maybe a little bit later in the show as he's doing that walk uh, for the late George Curry. Uh, down there in the Berwick area. So we come back, we'll get to that. Let's tell you where you get a couple more uh, softball and baseball magazines. You can pick up a copy at our friends at McCarthy Tire Service. Want to thank Daniel J. Hughes Funeral Home, Knockley Pharmacy, Corbett Insurance Locations, and Nanticoke, the Back Mountain. And now they have one in Kingston, Keeley's Pub, located over there in Kingston. And, of course, the Overbrook Restaurant in the Back Mountain. And Melissa Walter State Farm, located in the Back Mountain as well. Let's take a time out. Let's head out now to that uh, Melissa Walter State Farm break. Like a good neighbor, Melissa Walter is there. We'll be back here on WILK.